Well, that was a pretty killer early season day. It started raining, unfortunately, on the way out, so we got pretty wet uh, due to the rain. So I'm guessing after this storm passes, we're gonna have to head um, farther north to get into some higher elevation and get out of this rain. All right, first day in Revelstoke. We're just moving some sleds around. I have my trailer. I'm gonna take sleds out of the trailer, put them on my sled deck, and also back this trailer back into here. And then we'll get going. I didn't see a hike there, so sneaky. A Polaris day, huh? It is a Polaris day. We kind of uh, wrecked the dew yesterday, but I can't complain. It's not a bad backup sled. How many miles do you have on this one? Miles? Or kilometers, whatever. <laughs> Maple syrup is bleach. Yeah. And we've got, uh, this will be, I think, day three on it. So it's been pretty good so far. Having a good time. Some gnarly tree riding. Oh, oops. There's a sneak out on there. All right. We are heading north of town. I'm not gonna give out the location of the zone we're riding. I'm just gonna say we're riding north of town. If we're on Boulder or Frisbee, I have no problem like talking about that, but I hate to like piss people off by giving out too many details of where we're riding. going on there Caleb well you know I needed some spare fuel I thought this would be better than a gas jug but I'm regretting my decision not to have a gas jug <laughs> Well, a few minutes off the road, and I've been stuck twice. It's been stuck a couple times. Pretty tough going, considering we didn't really have any warm up. But it's sick. There's pretty good snowpack. Just a little hollow by all these logs in here. But it's gonna get good, I think. We we'll get a little higher. Oh yeah, Luke is doing awesome. We'll just keep working this at an angle, and then it opens up kind of off to the left. Once we get into the gut, I think it'll be pretty easy. I don't know if easy, but more open. Oh yeah, you got you got a clear line. Just stay above the draw that's down there. So as soon as you see a good spot to hook left, hook left. Yeah. Slow and controlled side hill. There you go. Good job. Now you can work the front down by kind of laying the skis flat and giving it throttle and then pulling it back up. You have to like shimmy the front down this. Luke only has like, I don't know, six days with me ever. And he's done some riding, but it was all on like an edge chassis. So he's really new to sledding and he's thrown into the thick of it with Dawson, Matt and I. He's doing good, but there's definitely some stucks. We're kind of focusing the start of this day on coaching him and um, helping him get some technique down. Oh, that's a nasty draw. <laughs> 
There's enough snow to do this one. under every little pillow, stuck in a waterfall. As I'm sure you noticed from the GoPro video, my sled has been wheeling a lot, way too much, partly from having the gas on the tunnel and then partly shock set up. So I wanna keep the front end down so I have more control and can get more uh, momentum. So what I did is I loosened the front track shock preload and um, brought that out a ways. So, and, and from factory, they're pretty loose. What I did in the shop is I tightened it up before my ride I tightened it up too much, so I just backed it off um, to control that ski lift a little bit. And now I'm gonna go shred this little zone over here and uh, Chase is filming. So I think for this first line, I'll just straight shoot it, hop over and then bow tie and then chew towards you or something like that. Yeah, that should work, that one gap over there. And then I'll do the far one after this first one. Okay. All right.
my forearms are on fire right now. I think it's from, you know, not riding all summer and not riding dirt bikes or anything this last summer. So I had zero conditioning for arm pump, like this style of arm workout. We are back in that draw where I was getting stuck a bunch. You can see my tracks right up there. Um, heading back down because we kind of tapped out up top because Alpine is just super rocky. So we're heading back down into the trees. Got Luke here filming real time. Chase is gonna shoot slow motion and I'm gonna session this little zone. Yeah. Let's go. Bet. Yo, once again I'm back around. Uh, real shit back in style. Uh, haters reconcile. Uh, I'm so black and proud. First class tickets now. Uh, feet all in the eye. Uh, everybody looking down. Everybody get red when you drown. Uh -huh. Look at me go. I'm putting it down. You can get blood. Checking the models. They want us to go to college just so we can start. Go to school to make a living. I don't need your endorsement. Yeah, I don't need reinforcement. Mm -hmm. Giving you your last warning, cause I'm at my mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm at my mm -hmm. I'm at my mm -hmm. uh, Have I gone so far? Did you detect something different? If you look inside my head, would you say so? I'm in the air so far. Mm -hmm. There's not enough snow to be doing that, but that was so fun. There's like eight feet of nothing. Just ice and water and hollow spots. So many rocks in here. looks dangerous but if we got a line going up this I bet we could climb to that saddle maybe yeah maybe that I there's a lot of rocks in there though another couple feet <laughs> this would be so fun yeah it would almost looking maybe like that yeah maybe you might be able to turn it there there's a bench a little yeah. bit there and then hook right yeah I'll I'll take a pull a line and then stop and get the cell phone out and get you coming up okay <laughs> right there. Hate to lose a sled into cliffs. There's so many rocks. There's a lot of rocks. 
trying to poke up over there and I'm not getting it. Huh, I gotta try to go higher than you right here? Oh, she's thick. You took two tries. <laughs> Just a little more speed. Then I would have hopped over and been home free, but. So close. So did I win that bet? On your second try. So by, we, didn't, we didn't discuss terms, but you are higher. <laughs> I'm definitely higher, but I did turn out and didn't follow your track, so. <laughs> call it a tie? We'll, we'll call it a watch. <laughs> Good job. Lots of control. Not easy riding through stuff like this. Hard enduro snowmobiling. Only another quarter mile to go. Tim Hortons wrap. Wow. I gotta hit a grocery store tonight. I can't do this again.
What do you think, Luke? I'm ready for it now. <laughs> <laughs> kind of drug him through the ship there. Pulled through. Pretty good.